hi everyone in uh, today's video i want to show you how to create a route on egdis so to do that uh, i have firstly disabled the existing route because i want to show you from the very beginning as to how to create the route so here we'll be creating a short route to uh, dunkirk pilot station in new zealand but uh, in case you have to create a very long route across ports which are located at vast distances it's a good idea for you to start uh, from the reverse that is start from the destination port and work your way backwards to the position of the ship here of course because i can see the position of the ship and the port on the same screen if i zoom out a little bit i am going to start from the ship so i go to route manage route and then new and then i'll create a new route from the position of the ship so you can see here i'm zooming on exactly to the position of the ship as much as i can and uh, then i will create a route to the dunkirk pilot station by in introducing the waypoints so if there are any waypoints uh, of course you delete all that waypoints you start fresh so as you can see my first waypoint starts from the current location of the vessel right so if it was located very far off i said I recommend you working backwards from destination port to the ship because that makes it easier but here you can see i'm just creating the waypoints now so i had a brief idea because i zoomed out and i saw the location of the pilot station and now i am slowly creating the waypoints and the route to the pilot station to the dunkirk pilot station and uh, you can see how i'm doing it in stages so the idea behind this is that you create a rough route initially and then we will uh, check the route and uh, make any adjustments if required uh, for each stage so don't worry about making it uh, very accurate at the very first attempt so here i'm just doing a basic i'm trying to keep the vessel as per the channel requirements uh, sometimes like you can see here i'm extending the waypoint when i can see the passage ahead of me sometimes uh, you cannot see the passage so you may have to create multiple waypoints but then i'll show you how you can uh, get rid of some of the waypoints um, if they are basically the same course you don't have to create multiple waypoints so here i'm uh, making sure that i take uh, the uh, route within the passage or the uh, channel rather and uh, as i reach closer to the dunkirk pilot station i will try and adjust the waypoints as you can see here i am reviewing each waypoint and see i removed one waypoint because i didn't think it was required because it was pretty much connecting uh, two waypoints on the same course so i'm just doing a rough check and seeing if i can take out any more so you can see here i'm taking out one more uh, and seeing whether I, I i can take out one more do i need one more or not so it's up to you um, what you want to do here so ideally i thought i could take out one more but i uh, decided not to do so i'm just adjusting the course here so this is what you have to do you will just make a series of waypoints first and then uh, go back and start checking whether you need all those waypoints or whether you can just delete one of them and adjust it what you also have to do is basically validate the route as well so once you create the route you have to validate the route so you can see on your top right hand screen you have some options available validate and view validate unattended validate manually so ideally you should use validate and view validate unattended means it will be faster of course but uh, it will be automatically it will be uh, checking each leg of the route and proceeding but validate and view or validate and manually helps you to validate each leg of the route and then viewing it and making sure that everything is fine before proceeding to the next waypoint so what you can do is do a validate and view check each leg make sure everything is fine and then do a final check by validate unattended which will be faster of course automatic but always start with validate and view like i am so you can see here how i'm checking each leg of the route and then i'm also checking what are the warnings that are coming up for example restricted area warnings uh, how important they are whether i need to make any changes to the route because of this or not so each warning for restricted areas warning areas will give me the details of each so here you can see there are some areas where anchoring is prohibited so i know that here i cannot have a, a contingency anchorage here because anchoring is prohibited so these are some of the tips i can use to plan my route 
so i can see i can checking each and every warning so even if there are four warnings or four restricted areas i am checking each restricted area to make sure that nothing is very serious that will affect my passage or my ship's route in any way most of them in this case here is showing its anchoring is prohibited naturally so because it's a it's a channel so i cannot just anchor my vessel in the middle of the channel and block the area then there are some cautionary areas you can see here cautionary areas are canals this chart is not to be used for navigation in the canals so it's giving a warning that this chart is not to be used for navigation in canals so maybe i have to shift to another chart which will give me a more a zoom uh, or more closer look into the channel which will highlight the dangers to navigation even more uh, but as long as it doesn't affect my passage um, i keep going regarding the waypoints so here i know that i may have to switch the chart or and or create and or have a more zoomed in chart which will highlight the features of the sea area in there so now that i have done each leg you can see that i'll go and check the safety contours the safety depths so you can see here how i can choose uh, depth shades of two or four four depth shades show me the depth con depths or s of water in four colors which gives me more detailing but also it clutters up the chart so i ideally personally as a navigator i like two depth shades which give me basic enough information for me to safely navigate my vessel but it is up to you the safety depth and safety contour also you will adjust as per the draft of your vessel and your requirements or your master's requirement rather to have an adequate undergill clearance you can also mark the shallow contours and the deep contours specific to your ship's draft which will give you adequate undergill clearance or ukc to safely navigate your vessel once you have made those adjustments then you will do a final validation again and um, a final validation should again be done with the option of validate and view monitor each leg of the route review the restricted areas and cautionary areas again remember these are very important because once you validate and your route is in place then you don't want the master to shout at you or you don't want to get into trouble or you don't want the vessel to be in unsafe conditions because you didn't check the route properly so again do a validate and view check each leg check and read each restricted area and cautionary area make sure that if any corrective action is required you do so if towards the end of it once you have done all the adjustments and you just want to quickly uh, validate it then you can use validate unattended all right so here i made a quick check i have checked most of the um, cautionary and restricted areas already so now i have also updated the depth setting as uh, the safety depth setting as you can see here i am making sure i am checking the safety depth setting so you can make it uh, different depending on the area in which you are transiting of course you are, if you are an open sea you don't have to worry too much about these because you have enough uh, sea uh, depth available but if you are in the channels then you have to adjust these shallow contours and deep contours depending on the draft of the vessel to keep the vessel uh, afloat at all times and uh, to prevent any kind of grounding related incidents all right and then you can see that uh, once i am happy with that i see all these uh, courses are laid out these are of course rum line courses so the validation says route finished i will give a name to the route so that i know which route to select uh, when the time comes so here i am naming it a dunkirk approach so that uh, i can choose these there will be many routes uh, saved in the um, egg system so you have to make sure you go to route and then you can choose the route by the name of the route so when you say manage route i will use dunkirk approach display list waypoint and then you can choose edit waypoint if you want to otherwise just click on monitor and your route is ready to go thank you for watching today's video bye